Also, a lot of people are interested in who Tobias is as a person, of course, and uh, you did your PhD, you said. Can you maybe explain, yes. because the topic you uh, investigated there was quite exotic, I would say. Can you explain for the people, what was your PhD in and uh, what did you uh, actually investigate? Of course. So my PhD was about local heat treatment of aluminum alloys. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are not a metallurgy guy or if you are not into that topic, so um, just for the, for the people out there, special aluminum alloys, they get heat treated to get better mechanical uh, properties such as the, the yield rings or something like this. So commonly what you do is um, when you make your casting, you have your aluminum part, you make, you put it into the oven mm -hmm. and you make a super saturated solid solution. That means that all um, atoms, so if you put like aluminum, then you have silicon, you have copper, you have magnesium, they get really spread it homogeneously in this um, material, the aluminum matrix, and then you quench it. So you, you keep these atoms at their position And then you make like an aging, it's called aging. It's nothing nothing more than you put the guy back into the oven, but on very low temperatures. And this is really, really um, energy consuming, you can imagine. And the question was, if we just, you have a screw somewhere and you want just to have like a local treatment that you change the aluminum properties only regional, mm -hmm. um, that was my topic. Um, for example, using a, a burner or a laser. And what I did is actually I made with open foam um, the thermal stress analysis. So I have I created my own boundary condition for the laser. So it's also in my repository somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, really crazy code, not very clean, but in any case. And then I used open foam for solid mechanics actually. And it was very interesting, but on the other hand, you know, using finite element methods or the finite element method for stress analysis, comparing the stress analysis with finite volume, it was really, really crazy. So there were, it was two, two topics using either this method or this method. And after that, Yeah, you know, I was calculating the, the thermal stresses in my material and I had to prevent yielding so that uh, that my part is not deforming. And knowing the temperature distribution, I also made a material kinetics. So I, I calculated what happened really in the in the material. And this was really a pain in the ass. I was struggling with this problem like one and a half years with my professor. We had so many ideas, but Actually, there were so many problems and it was so complex that we, at the end, it was a very interesting solution I presented because I used open foam then. So what I made actually is um, I had my part in there. I had some probe points where I tracked the temperature. I calculated only on, let's say, 100 points, the material change um, using the material kinetic calculation. And then I used open foam again for distributing this material points into the material using a Poisson equation. Now it was a Laplace equation. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it was very interesting. I was working with foam a lot and, you know, getting more into the details with foam. So that was what I really wanted to do. Besides, of course, there was the, was the material kinetics. I was not so interested in that, but um, at the end, I, I finished it. Yeah. <laughs>